Fortnite Battle Pass, I just sh- Oh, hi crafters, I didn't expect you so early. Well anyways, every video game these days has a battle pass. Call of Duty, Fortnite, Overwatch, you name it, it probably has a battle pass. But what is a battle pass? No, I'm genuinely asking, what the heck is one of these battle passes? Ah, that makes sense now. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Battle Pass plugin for your Minecraft server. I could list off every single one of the features that this plugin has, or you could just go look at the spigot page. So just do that. I think that the coolest feature that this plugin has is an in-game editor, meaning that you won't have to touch config files at all. Now, before we begin, there are a few things that I do need to mention. The plugin that we're covering today is a premium plugin, meaning that you will have to pay for it. Now, I was given a license for making this video for free, but all thoughts and opinions will be strictly my own. You will need to run a paper server for this plugin to work. If you're not already running a paper server, first of all, you're a complete idiot, but you can download a server jar from papermc.io, but that's a top for a completely different video. Also, I probably should mention that this isn't just a plugin where you drag and drop and you're all good. It's going to require some configuration so it can fit your server's needs. There are some pre-made configurations out there that you can buy, but you don't need those. You got Crafted Croy here to show you how to set up this plugin. You don't need no pre-made configuration. Also, if you don't subscribe, this video won't work. So make sure to just smash that subscribe button. Just smash it. Shit. Okay, first of all, I did not change my shirt. You're just imagining that. So the first thing we'll want to do is go and purchase the plugin if you haven't already. For me, I already have it, so I can just download now. And that will download the jar file. Don't worry, it's safe. You won't get a virus. And now we want to head over to our server. And then go to your plugins folder. You know the drill. You've done this a million times. And then we just want to drag and drop the file. And then that'll upload it to our server. So now we can go and restart our server. Okay, there we go. Now we have our plugin installed. So we can do slash battle pass. And that'll open up the battle pass menu for us. Now, this is just the default configuration. You will not want to use this. It's pretty bad, but it will show you how to configure it. So we can go to our rewards and this is like our Fortnite battle pass. So we got our first tier. So they actually have two different types. You have your free tier, which is up here and you have your premium, which is down here. So we can go through all these pages and there's not much, but you can add as many tiers as you want. And now to earn points to level up in your battle pass, we can go over to the quests. So we have four different weeks of quests. So in week one, we have all of these. We can go back and we can see week two, week three, week four. I will show you how to make your own quests in a little bit. And this just explains what the battle pass even is. Now I'm going to show you some of the commands. So the main command is BP, but if you are an admin, you can do BPA. So this gives you access to a whole lot more commands. So we can like reload the plugin like that, that'll reload it. We can set a player's balance, pass, or points. So craft a croy and we can give me, or set my points to 1000. So now I have that and I reached tier nine. We can even use the battle pass editor. However, for now, this seems to only work for quests. So that means you will need to be using the config files. And I know in the beginning I said that you, would be able to use the in-game editor for everything, but I lied, get used to it. And then some more player commands. We have BP open and stats and help. That That's all the players have access to, but that's all they need access to because everything is through the GUI. Okay, now it's time to start configuring this plugin because as you saw, the default configuration is pretty trash. So we want to go to the rewards.yml. This is in the battle pass folder that will automatically generate when you first install this plugin. So as we can see, there are multiple different rewards. What we are going to want to do is we can just grab one of these, control C, that's the command for copying. And then we want to add some lines and then go all the way to the back. Because if you, if we even have just like one space in there, then the whole file will break and the plugin might break too. So we just want to make sure we are on the first line, make sure there's no space between here and the end of the file like that 
And then we can set four to the next number, which is five, learn how to count. And now we can change the type to something else. We're just going to leave it as a command right now. That way you can use this to execute commands for other plugins, like giving a crate key or I don't know, giving some economy money. So we can set the lore add-on. There we go. I love Lego City. You can set this to literally whatever you want. And this does support placeholder API placeholders. And now we can go to our commands and we can literally add whatever command we want here. But make sure to use the percentage sign player percentage sign for using the player's name. So if we want to give player diamond and we'll give them like a thousand diamonds because they're a good player. They deserve a thousand diamonds. So now that we have our reward, we need to add this to one of our battle pass tiers. So what we want to do is go back into the battle pass folder. And we want to head to passes. Now, like I said, there's the free and there's the premium tier. So we're just going to be using the free tier for now, but you can also set up the premium tier as well. So head into free. And now we want to scroll down to tiers. You can edit this. This is the default across every single one of the tiers. And now what we want to do is we're just going to copy number four. Now this number correlates to the tier. So we can set this to, so we have 10. Let's set this to 15. And then our rewards, we just added five. So we can change four to five. And then we want to remove two and then click Control S to save the file. And now we can head back in game and reload the plugin. Okay, so here we are in game. Do slash BPA reload. There we go. Now our battle pass plugin has reloaded. So we can type slash BP or battle pass. And then we want to head to the rewards. Now I want to scroll all the way to here. And there we go. Tier 15. So now if we were to unlock it by using BPA set points crafted Croy 10,000, we reach tier 15. So now we can do BP again, not saying BP. And there we go. So now all we have to do is to click on it and we get a thousand diamonds. Now you're probably like, how the heck do I earn points so I can get to the different tiers? That's super easy using quests. So we want to head back into our configuration files now. So now what we want to do is head into the quests folder and we want to take week four quests and we can copy that. And now we just want to rename the file to week dash five dash quests. Don't worry, this will work. Just trust me. So we can click on that. And now we can edit this however we want. So I'm going to show you how to add a quest and I will show you how to configure this as well. So we will set our first quest to name week five magic, not week four magic and the type of the quest. So you can actually head over to their wiki and this will show you every single type of quest. So we have 36 internal quest types. So these are from just the plugin itself. However, there are hundreds more external quest types that you can get from other plugins. So your plugin might be on here. If it's not, you can contact them and they might be able to add it to this list. I mean, look at all these. I, I don't know how you wouldn't be satisfied with all these. So we are actually just going to use the block break. So it's block dash break. So we will set the type block dash break. So now we need to set which block we want to break. However, you can't just type in the block name. So do you see how there is this apple and then a colon and zero that correlates to like the blocks rotation or something. Now you're probably like, how the heck do I get that crafted Croy? Well, it's really easy. So we want to head back into the game. And do you see these blocks? This is basically what it's meant for. So we can do BPA material and then block or item. So the block is going to be the block that you are looking at. Item is going to be the thing that you have in your hand. So I will just use block. And so the name of the block I'm looking at is oak underscore log colon four. So we can go back into the game and we can type oak underscore log four. So all you have to do for this quest is break 50 oak log that is like on its side here. And then that's all you have to do to 
earn 10 points. So you can get really advanced with all these quests if you really want to, or you can just keep it really simple. Okay, so now what we want to do is reload the plugin. So slash BPA reload. And now we can type slash BP and go back to our quest. And we can see we have week five quest now. So we can click on that. And here is our break some oak logs. So it says regenerate 50 health points. That's because I didn't edit it. And it also takes your required progress, which is 50. So we don't even have to like click on it or tell it that we want to do this. All we have to do is go break 50 of these. I don't feel like doing that though. So you can play around with that. All right, so before we conclude, there's one more thing I want to talk about and that is seasons. So this plugin has support for like having two different seasons or three or four. So what you want to do to start a new season, you want to do slash BPA new season. But as this says, it can be destructive. So read the wiki first. I will have the wiki linked in the description if you'd like to read that. But all we want to do is type it one more time. And now you just need to restart the server and you'll have a fresh season. Now it's time for the ultimate question. Should you buy this plugin? Yes and no. Obviously, this is an amazing plugin, probably the best Battle Pass plugin on the market. If you're just starting out in this whole Minecraft server hosting game, you'll want to invest in more essential plugins or pay for server hosting bills before you decide that you want to buy this plugin. But if you're experienced and you're looking to add new features to your Minecraft server, then by all means, this would be an amazing plugin for that. There also aren't a whole lot of free Battle Pass plugins out there, so if you're planning on adding a Battle Pass to your server, this is definitely the best route to go with this plugin. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below or if you decided to go ahead and purchase it. If you can't think of anything to say, then just tell me a joke or your favorite My Little Pony character. Mine's probably Lyra or Starlight. And if you guys have any further questions or just want to chat, then feel free to pop into my Discord. Also, make sure to join the Crafted SMP. We have a fun Public Civilizations event coming up soon that you will not want to miss. All right, I will see you guys on the other side. And as always, happy crafting. I'm going out. Hey. That was really stupid. I don't know why I did that. Okay, bye.